everyone, Ashley here and welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to be making a card today. Instead, I'm just going to be showing you some of the fun goodies that I got in my order from Simon Says Stamp that just arrived today. There's only a few things, but I was so in love with Lawn Fawn's latest release, their fall winter release for 2019, that I just had to pick up a few of my favorite things. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'll start off with the stamp sets. The first one that I picked up was this Lawn Fawn Christmas Wishes stamp set. This is just the cutest set. It comes with a bunch of different fishes, as well as this seaweed Christmas tree, which I just think is so adorable. And then a whole bunch of different musical sentiments. So here comes Santa Claus, tis the season to be jelly, and we fish you a Merry Christmas, along with season's greetings. And I just love those punny sentiments. And the cool thing about this set is that it comes with a bunch of faceless fish, which at first I thought was a bit weird, but then I realized it's because they give you the extra faces and some of them look like they're singing, which I just think is adorable and you can kind of make it look like they're caroling. I love the little added extra touches that Lawn Fawn does. You can see for a long time, I didn't really know what these two little dots were in some of their stamp sets, but it's to make the little pink cheeks, which is really adorable. And then you've got like the present clam, which is just so cute. So they really put a lot of thought into these sets. And why I liked this one so much is I figured that it would go really well with a lot of the other sort of fishy, oceany sets that they've released before, which I have. So I'll be able to combine this a lot with a lot of the other fish sets I have. So that's really awesome. So that's that one. The next one I got was the sentiment stamp. So this wavy sayings stamp, this old one, um, is from a few releases ago, but this is the new one. So I'll just take it out so you can get a closer look. And this is the winter wavy sayings. So you've got a whole bunch of different holiday inspired sayings here, which I love to have these sort of sentiment scents for holiday cards because it just gives you some variety. You don't always have to put Merry Christmas on every card. You can choose from these different sentiments. So I like the variety and I love that it has Happy Hanukkah. Not very many sets out there have that. So again, it's good to have some variety in sets where you can make Hanukkah cards. Um, you've also got the Happy New Year, which is nice. And I just keep it together in this pocket because I have the dies in the back and I figured I'm probably always gonna use the dies with the stamps. So I just keep them together. So I like that they have sort of the regular sentiments and now the holiday sentiments, which is really nice. And they all work together with these same dies. The last um, sort of die thing that I got from this order was the Puppy Cloud Borders. This is actually not part of their latest release. This is from a much older release, but I never got around to getting them. And I've just been making a lot of cards lately, or I've had a lot of ideas lately where I want to use clouds. And I think it's because I ordered some unicorn sets not that long ago. And of course, you can't make a unicorn card without having the unicorn flying in the clouds, right? So I've always seen other people using these. Um, and I just really wanted to try them for my cards. So I finally got around to ordering them and I'm really excited to use them. So if you didn't know, these actually cut out the edge where you can see that solid edge, and then they create this stitched line where you can see the stitching. So they create the cut part as well as the stitched accent, which I always think is super nice and it's just a really nice touch. So that's all for the stamps and dies. I said it was a small order. But I also got a few papers and a couple sort of more accent tool type things. So in this order, I'm going to cut this apart. I got a replacement multimedia mat. This is one of my favorite adhesives. I use it a lot. I like to have these backup bottles so that when mine runs out, I could just have one on hand. So that's that. And this is from the latest Lawn Fawn release. So this is the Liquid Stardust Lawn Fundamentals. And this, from what I can tell, from what I've seen from other people, is just a liquidy glitter. And you can see in the bottle there, it kind of looks like the liquid shimmer is mostly mixed in. I'm just trying to shake it up to really mix in the glitter with the liquid here. And you can see it kind of mixed in. So you can see already that liquid is nice and shimmery. And I actually took out a couple pieces of scrap paper here because I was thinking I could test it and kind of see what it looks like on paper. So we can start with white. So I'm just gonna dab out a little bit onto the paper. Ooh, so right off the bat, you can see it is nice and shiny. See that shine? 
And already you can tell that I put out a dab and it kind of sunk into the paper. So it really does like absorb into that paper and create this like almost opaque sheen. Now I'm sure that it is not really how it's meant to be used. I think what's meant is if you were to put it on your paper and then kind of go in with like a water brush and just like mix it out. Hmm. Okay, so it doesn't, it doesn't mix out super well. Well, I feel like probably what you're meant to do with this is actually mix it with water directly and then maybe apply that water to your paper or use it to spray onto your project so you get a nice even level of shimmer within the water. So that is probably more what that's meant for to sort of mix in with water and then apply more of the watered down glitter to your project. So that's really cool. I also just wanted to see what it looks like on some black cardstock as well. So I'm just gonna put a drip here. So on black, it actually comes out even more sort of silvery white and opaque, which is really nice. Very, very shimmery. And if I try to move it around with some water here, let's put a big drop of water on there. Okay, so when you drop water onto it, it really does move around a bunch more. So yeah, it will definitely work a lot better when you fully mix it with water. Look at that shine. It's almost like a very silvery, almost blue toned shine to it. And the more you dilute it, I'm sure the less opaque it gets. So you can have a really subtle shimmer if you wanted to. I'm just gonna go back to the white here because maybe I did this wrong. Let's put a dab on. And then I'm gonna like put a big drop of water right on top from this brush. You can do by just squeezing your water brush. And then you can move it around a bit more. Okay, so uh, yeah. If you look in the light, yeah, you can see that that definitely moved the shimmer around. It might be hard to see on the camera, but you can still see where you dabbed it down initially with the bottle. So I think, yeah, if I was gonna put this on a white paper on a project, what I would do is I would mix it with water separately on a piece of acetate or on my glass mat, and then I would bring that to my paper. So that's that. And then the other thing I got was this Lawn Fundamentals glitter pen. So I think this is almost a very similar medium, but kind of in pen form, which I thought would be really good for adding like small glittery details to the objects. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So when you open it up, you can see that the tip is kind of this nubby so it looks like it's got a somewhat fine tip, but not super fine, and it's not bristly, so it's a hard tip and it won't move around too much. Now, I imagine with this kind of tip, you have to pump it a little bit to get the ink or the glitter liquid moving. So I'm just pumping up and down on the pen, and this should hopefully get that liquid flowing out. Okay. That took a lot of pumping. <laughs> so if you ordered this and you think that it's broken, um, keep pumping. You might just need to pump more. But I pumped a lot. And finally, now we have the liquid coming out. So you can try just writing. And you can see there how it applies this really nice glitter. And it's very clear, but also very shiny. And I like how you can get that nice fine detail. It's really beautiful. So on the white, I'm just gonna do a zigzag here. And you can see, hopefully you can see that nice shine that you get on the white. Now on the white, it's very subtle. I think this would work best over um, like a colored image or on a dark background, or if you wanted some very, very, very subtle shine in the background for a white background. Okay, so that is the Lawn Fawn glitter pen. Now the last couple things that I got are papers. The first one is this Lawn Fawn cardstock in Gold Rush. This again was part of their latest release. And it looks like it's just sort of a gold shimmery paper. So let's just open it up here. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Hopefully you can see some of that shine on camera, I think it's picking up a little bit up here. But yeah, it's this like very yellowy, almost like a tan, like a sand color. 
but it's got this very, very subtle glitter. So you really have to like turn the paper in the light. If you're just looking at the paper flat, you don't see it in real life. But as soon as you start to turn it, you see this beautiful shine and it's a very tone on tone. So it's like a gold shimmer on this gold background. Very, very pretty. And I can see how this would be great for like die cutting sentiments. So if you have a sentiment die, this would be beautiful or even just like your backdrop for a card. So that is the Lawn Fawn Cardstocking Gold Rush. Then the last thing I picked up was this Lawn Fundamentals cardstock in speckled eggshell. And I wasn't really sure what to expect from this, but I love neutral cardstock. So I love cardstocks that you can kind of just you can kind of just use as a backdrop for any card. And I love sort of having these go-to cardstocks that kind of work with anything. And that's why I thought that I would really like this. So let's see what it looks like here. So this is the speckled eggshell cardstock. Um, it's kind of just got this really nice warm white base. I would say it's like trending towards cream. It's definitely not like Nina Solar White level white, but it's still really nice and neutral. And then if you look closer, it kind of has like these random speckles and they're very, I say random because there's no pattern to them. It almost just looks like someone paint splattered right onto it. And I think that's really lovely. It kind of adds this subtle background detail that um, is not really in your face. And this could definitely be sort of a go-to cardstock for backgrounds, neutral backdrops, or even like stamping onto this with images and having that really nice like speckled outline around your image. I think that would be really pretty. So that is it for today. That was my little mini haul. Didn't go too crazy, but I did get my favorites from this release. So I'm super excited to use them. And stay tuned for more videos that will show me using a lot of these supplies in cards. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you liked it, leave a comment down below. It'll really help me to know um, whether you like this type of video or not. So I know if I should be doing more. And um, if you wouldn't mind, just leave a like on the video. That helps a lot too. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye.